The Bedlington Terrier is a breed of small dog named after the mining town of Bedlington, Northumberland in northeast England. Originally bred to hunt, the Bedlington Terrier has since been used in dog racing, numerous dog sports, as well as in confirmation shows, and as a companion dog. It is closely related to the Dandy Dinmon Terrier, Whip Pet, and Otterhound. It is described as a very versatile yet contradictory dog. They have powerful swimming skills, comparable to those of water dogs such as the Newfoundland, and are noted for being very quick and having high endurance. They love snow and can achieve a husky-like turn of speed on ice or in deep powder, using their powerful noses as a plow. Bedlingtons are noted for their similarity in appearance to lambs. The dogs have blue, liver or sandy coloration, all three of which may have tan points. Their fur forms a distinctive top knot on the dog's head. It is non-shedding and with minimal odor, but needs weekly grooming to remove dead hair. The Bedlington Terrier is a devoted friend and keen traveler with a dose of healthy selfishness and a decent supply of good nature. The breed is recommended as companions when you want to have a terrier, but there is no desire to acquire a stubborn dominant controlled exclusively by hunting instincts. The Bedlingtons are moderately frisky but not aggressive, ready to obey a stronger leader but not dissolve in him, like to drive small animals but do not get into a rage and are able to curb their own anger. And these pussies also have a standard glossy appearance, so with such a pet you will definitely not get lost in the crowd. Highlights Despite the fact that modern Bedlington Terriers are predominantly show dogs and city companions, representatives of the breed have not lost their hunting instincts. To make the Bedlington look as spectacular as possible, it will have to be cut once every two months, which is not easy to do in the absence of grooming experience. The breed loves to bark, so dogs make good watchmen who can warn the owner in time about the presence of strangers in the house. Typical terrier traits of Bedlingtons are not as pronounced as those of their congeners in the group, although they are not averse to steer instead of the owner, as well as to drive small animals. The breed is considered rare, so in domestic kennels the choice of puppies is small, and their prices are quite high. The Bedlington Terrier is the ideal dog for cleanliness perfectionists. Shedding in representatives of this family is very moderate, in addition, their hair does not fall out, which means it does not stick to carpets and clothes. The Bedlingtons have mediocre learning ability and rank 39th on Stanley Corin's list of the most intellectually advanced breeds. History of the Bedlington Terrier Breed The first Bedlingtons appeared in the northern counties of England in the 18th century. Then the breed was known as the Rotbury Terrier, and its representatives were bred by gypsies and traveling circus troops. The ancestors of today's Bedlingtons did not look very presentable, but they showed amazing prowess, providing gypsy families with rabbit stews all year round. The animals were also attracted to work by English slaughters. The dogs were lowered into the mine to deal with the hordes of rats and mice that lived inside and destroyed the meager meals of the hard workers. In the 19th century, British esquires began to acquire Rothbard Terriers. One of the first to do this was William Allen and Edward Duncan, who lived in the vicinity of Northumberland and contained many breeding individuals in their possessions, which were crossed with other breeds. As for the modern name, it came to the Terriers in 1825, when the Northumberland dogs took part in a demonstration hunt in the vicinity of the city of Bedlington. Since 1859, the breed won dog shows and the offspring of its representatives were registered in the stud books of Northumberland County. Already in 1893, the Bedlingtons had their own national club, and four years later a separate standard was written for them. Furthermore, the descendants of the Rotbury Terriers went to conquer North America, where they were warmly received and even registered with the AKC. By the way, in the era of the stormy twenties in the United States, the pedigree lines of Colonel Guggenheim and William Rockefeller, who raised the first American Bedlington champions, became especially famous. Bedlington Terrier. Breed Description. Dogs have an interesting, one might even say extravagant appearance. They have a resemblance to small sheep. The creatures are graceful, lean dogs with a muscular, lithe build. The appearance is similar to that of hounds. The skeleton is strong, the muscles are pronounced. The body is oblong, powerful. The chest is large and deep. The back and loin are arched. The belly is tucked up. Bedlington Terrier parameters, height 38 to 42 centimeters, weight 8 to 10 kilograms. Males are a couple of centimeters taller than bitches. The weight is practically independent of the floor. A feature of the breed is a wedge-shaped pear-shaped head. The muzzle is elongated. The transition from forehead to nose is straight, without kinks, like a hound. The upper part of the head, from nose to crown, is covered with thick hair. The jaw is long and tapers towards the nose. The ears